What did you feel like at that point in time when the scam started coming about? You know, there was, um, <laughs> there's this thing I want to start. I, uh, I, I've already, I made up my mind, I told my PR thing, but not now. I need to start talking tonight to youth. We need to start learning things. We jump into conclusion easily. We don't, we, we, fine, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty as what well. What are you guilty of? Because oh. I do it a lot sometimes. Mm -hmm. But now I think I'm a changed person. You have learned your lesson. Yes, I have. If I tell you something, mommy, you wouldn't believe it. My name was actually part of the scam. They said myself, Tony Aimako and Mayowa's family wanted to scam the public. Yes. That's the story. But you kept quiet. I kept quiet. So I had to go back to the hospital. They wanted to take her. I said, where are you taking her? Our family, were, they were like, they wanted privacy. I said, you cannot get privacy. You came out to ask for them. <laughs> it is not possible. So that was how it all started. I left. And they said they were going to disgrace me. They were going to record me, everything. I said, OK, it's better. Because I remember something. There's this quote I always remember. If you want to be great, you have to be willing to be hated, to be mocked, and to be misunderstood. So I said, OK, let's go. And I went back. They said, they took up, pick up the camera. I said, OK, let me help you. I removed my wig, just the face <laughs> cut, so that I would look very ugly. I said, OK, go on, record. Show everybody what I am like. So, show everybody. But fortunately, it was the video that actually vindicated me.